This is your local election headquarters. Welcome back. Hurricane season already off to a busy start and Senator Bill Cassidy is continuing his fight to urge lawmakers to make flood insurance more affordable. Cassidy says people living along the Gulf Coast depend on flood insurance to rebuild and their premiums just rose. Now those people are at risk of their premiums rising again during what is expected to be an active hurricane season. He says this is not just a Louisiana issue. This is not the issue just for Louisiana. It affects Mississippi, it affects Texas, it affects all coasts and any place where there's a river or a stream. And when we consider, once again, who lives in these areas most affected, we see why we need to keep the NFIP affordable for working families. Cassidy says his team is working on a bipartisan solution that will roll back risk rating 2.0 and make flood insurance affordable and accountable. On Capitol Hill, there's a new effort to ban members of Congress from trading stocks. A new bill would bar members of Congress, their spouses and their children from buying and selling those stocks. It's a bipartisan issue, but it has also failed in the past. Some senators say this version has better odds of passing. This is going to be the first truly serious effort, attempt, and possibility of banning stock trading ever. There's no argument here for allowing members of Congress to trade stocks when they're supposed to be doing the people's business. Now, the bill would also ban the president and vice president from trading stock. Senators plan to vote on the bill in the next few weeks. President Joe Biden held a rare solo news conference Thursday night amid continuing concerns about his ability to win re-election. And even after what many are calling a strong performance the other night, several more Democrats now say it's time for him to drop out of the race. Washington correspondent Trevor Shirley is in D.C. with more. Despite a few flubs during that press conference, President Joe Biden says he's fit to serve for another term. For more than an hour, President Joe Biden answered reporters' questions with his political future hanging in the balance. I've got to finish this job. I've got to finish this job because there's so much at stake. More than a dozen elected Democrats have called on him to drop out of the race after last month's dismal debate performance. And even more have raised concerns privately. The best way to assure them is the way I assure myself. And that is, am I getting the job done? The president repeatedly said he is. If I slow down, I can't get the job done. That's a sign that I shouldn't be doing it. But there's no indication of that yet. None. The president gave detailed answers on foreign policy and vigorously defended his record. But there were also moments that will inevitably continue talk about whether he should drop out. Look, I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president. So I think she's not qualified to be president. Supporters say last night's performance reinforced their decision to stick by the president. I'm hoping that, that he put most of those questions to bed tonight and we can start talking about the issues. But others before the press conference say the party needs a stronger nominee. I think if things stay as they are, it's likely that Donald Trump will win the election and they will lose the Senate and will lose the House. And following that press conference, three more House Democrats said they believe President Biden should drop out of the race. Reporting in Washington, I'm Trevor Shirley.